Hey Pete here for Studio Live today. Now have you ever recorded a track with audio recorder that looks like this one where there is sound there but the input volume was so low that you can't see it making it really hard to edit. Well in this GarageBand quick tip I'm going to show you how we can use the merge tracks function to normalize the volume and make it much easier to edit our recorded tracks. Let's go. So what we have here is my tracks for my recent song called Sin and what I did here is when I recorded my acoustics and my guitars and my vocals I had my input gain set low because they are a loud source and then when it came to my bass guitar I didn't turn it up which means that the sound is recorded the quality is fine but the level is very low now you might think well just go re-record it we can do that but there's a much easier way because there's nothing wrong with the quality of this sound it is just too quiet. To normalize a track in GarageBand requires a couple of steps here and we're going to do that now. So firstly let's solo this track and I'll just play the bass guitar as it sounds. So there it is, you can hear it's got some bass amp effects on there already because I've recorded it through an amp and I've tuned in and done some tweaks and adjustments. So I don't want to lose all of those. So what I could do, one option I have is if I just tap here and I tap merge and hit the merge button in the top right. What it's going to do now, is it'll duplicate the song just to give you a backup. It's now going to merge this entire track, these four sections in fact, into one track, which is also pretty convenient most of the time. And then once it's finished merging, what it will actually do is create a new track, an audio recorder track, and normalize that track. Now what normalizing means is it simply means increasing the volume of a track up to a standardized level, which you can see it has done down here. And you can see there that it is much louder because I've got it at that same volume. I'm going to have to drop that volume down. Now you might be thinking ahead and going, this is great, but now I've got that amp sound baked in. I can't now adjust the amp settings because it's now just a standard audio track. And if I even if I move this to another amp, it's going to already have those amp settings. We're going to be doubling up. That's not going to work. And I agree. And here's a way that we can work around that. So I'm going to undo that one for now and go back to our bass guitar here. Now the way that we can do this that's going to work a little bit better is if we tap down the bottom here and we're going to add an audio recorder track, we'll go to more sounds, fun and clean. Still not sure why the clean is under fun but anyway. So now when we go back to our track view we've got this new track down the bottom here which is a completely clean audio track. All we need to do now is copy over our bass guitar. So I'll do that by tapping and holding and then tapping each of these with my other finger and that will select all of these I'm going to tap at the end here and hit copy and now I'll come to our new audio recorder track down here and I just need to line up my playhead at the start like so. Make sure it's exactly lined up or the audio is going to be out of sync. There we go right there on bar three. Tap down on the track, hit paste and there we go. We've got an exact copy of that bass guitar sound except when we come down here and we play this now which we'll do, you'll hear it's even quieter because it's not even get going through the bass amp for that additional amplification. So what do we need to do now? Well, we need to go back to this track now and do our merge function. So what we're doing now is we're merging the raw audio. We'll tap our merge button again. It duplicates the song. I'm going to have 15 copies of this song and it will merge that plain audio track with absolutely no processing on it because it's on a standard clean audio track and now what we have is the same thing and if we solo it again we'll play back and we've got our same bass line but it's just increased the volume and it's going to make it easier for us to edit. Of course it means that we now don't have our amp settings but no problem there. All we need to do is come back here and delete our old bass guitar by doing our tap and hold tap 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 function tap delete and then all we need to do is grab and drag up this one and pop it back on this track. So now we have the best of both worlds. We have a nice normalized track that we can see that's going to make it easy to edit. We have our bass amp here with our settings that we can continue to tweak and adjust and add additional settings to or change the amp entirely if we want to and we can go on our merry way. And if we solo this now and play it back, we'll turn it down a bit.
there you go. So now the, the reason we do this is not only for convenience and to be able to see it, but it means that we can have our volumes at a more uniform level. The whole, the reason it's called normalizing is that you wanna try and have your faders at about the same level. If you're recording one thing really hot and one thing really low, then your faders are gonna be all over the place and it's gonna be hard to get a good balance. So I hope you found that interesting. I certainly utilize this method quite often when I record a source, I have a good performance, but it's at a low level. You can just simply use that merge track function to normalize the volume and then be on your way. If you've got comments, questions, or suggestions, leave them down below and I'll see you in the next video.